that's it for me today. Well, I wasn't surprised to hear once again that uh, because I'm a resident of the city of Port Townsend and I'm a communist, first that I'm a communist. I bet you didn't know, Philip, when you came here that that was going to happen. It slides up on you slowly. Um, well, last week as the uh, ORCA, Olympic Regional Clean Air Agency, and I discussed some time ago about the potential for funds to come to Jefferson and Clallam County for this wood stove chain down, and um, it's been clear. We've got the money coming very soon. <laughs> So there will be a $500 rebate, or ORCA will pay $500 to anybody that replaces an old wood stove, 750 if they replace an old wood stove with a, uh, with a propane stove. Last week I also went to the uh, Planning Commission meeting. It was very interesting. It was primarily Peter Downey speaking about aquaculture. Uh, there was some he chose not to recuse himself, and I think that's the right thing, because he knows more about aquaculture than anybody does. He ran the meeting very carefully and uh, obviously did not try to sway anybody. <coughs> this coming week, I will be going to Olympia again. <coughs> Are you going to the uh, Hooking Up Coordinating Council? Yes. Yeah. <coughs> That will be in uh, the, uh, can't think of the name of the building, but it's the uh, Fort Gamble Slalom Tribe will be hosting a lunch, and we'll have our meeting there. And then I'm going to go from there to the rural counties meeting in Olympia Wednesday night, and then Legislative Steering Committee meeting Thursday morning. And then race back here for, uh, for the uh, please be sure to bring up, uh, when you go to LSC, to bring up the uh, opt-out. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so I've been talking to all kinds of people about the opt-out, yeah. because people are coming to me and concerned about the uh, situation with the state park. It gives you a quick opening to talk about the opt-out. <coughs> That's about it.